Hello everyone, this is DA from the Academy and today this video we'll talk about Today we'll talk about the relation of upper sum of the refinement partition and the lower sum of, of the same thing and then what is the relation of small m with this with this upper sum and the lower sum and also the relation of capital M with small s and capital S for the different partitions and so let's start this so let's take a function that belongs to a bounded class uh, that is on AB. So we'll take a bounded function from A to B and we will take two partitions P1 and P2 from the set of all of the partitions over that same that same interval A and B. So there is a relation between B, P1 and P2 is that P2 is refiner is refinement of p1 or finer than p1 so we can write it as p1 is a subset of p2 so if we have a bounded function from a to b we have two partitions on a closed interval a and b and the two partitions have this relation then we can say that this small m delta x and what is small m small m is the infimum of this function of the values of the function over that area over that region a and b and delta x is the is the difference of b minus a is the is the length of the interval and the claim is that if we have these things then this thing is less than or equal to the lower sum s of that function f and with the partition p1 because this is a partition p1 this is less than or equal to s f p 2 so this is less than or equal to here the lower sum on that partition p1 is less than the lower sum of that partition p2 why because p2 is is the refinement of p1 as we have seen in the previous video that when we're talking about the lower sum the lower sum is not exactly what is the area under the curve but eliminates some of the points that must have to be in the value when we're talking about the area under the curve so taking a more more finer partition than the previous it will help us to eliminate that error in in calculating the area under the curve by using the lower sum method so if p1 is a partition that is a subset of p2 where p2 is a finer partition than p1 then eventually the uh, the lower sum the lower sum will be will be close enough to that of the actual area under the curve so this is the statement here and this will be less than or equal to capital s f and p2 and this will be less than or equal to this will be less than or equal to capital s f and p1 here we know that this is the upper sum and upper sum have more values than uh, than, the, than the actual area under the curve and if we have a finer partition p2 then we must have a lower value of upper sum that is more close to the actual area under the curve so this is meant by this thing and this is what the general relation of small and small s and capital F because this is a lower sum it must be smaller than the upper sum and this capital S F P1 is also less than capital M delta X and what is capital M it is the supremum of the values of F over that region A B so this is the claim here that we are going to prove that this all of the inequalities we are going to prove right now by using these things and by using the definition of these things so let's start this so firstly we will show that capital M delta X is less than or equal to small s f and p and that is less than or equal to capital S f and p and that is less than or equal to capital M delta X as we have seen this relation in one of the previous videos but we will we will prove this relation here by using what is the what is the importance of a partition so uh, I'm using p1 here in order to just because we have we have 
wrote about that we have two partitions p1 and p2 so we will we will prove this then we will talk about the relation uh, then we can prove the relation of this lower sum of p1 and what is the relation of lower sum at p2 and the same for the upper sum as well so let's prove this first so let we have the partition with the elements a x1 x2 so on to xn minus 1 and b where a is as an x1 that x1 is as an x2 and so on that is as an b so here we have p1 a partition having these n elements right now not n but n plus 1 elements right now so we know the relation of small m with the certain let's say we have mk so we know that infimum that is for the every possible for every possible value of f over that region a b is less than or equal to the infimum of a certain interval and this is less than or equal to capital m k and that is less than or equal to capital m where k must be must be must be less than or equal to n and greater than or equal to 1 so k must be less than or equal to n and greater than or equal to 1 so m delta x is equal to m times b minus a because delta x have the definition of this that length of a interval from which we are taking the value so b minus a is the whole area from from where we can get the values and and the function is bounded over that region b minus b a a and b so delta x is b minus a so we can write this is equal to summation summation m delta x k where k vary from 1 to n because if we have this area a and b we have this area and we're going to divide the this from x1 x2 x3 x4 so on to xn then delta xk is that area is that area or is that is that region is or is that value so if we are going to take the sum of every possible smaller smaller delta delta x x value delta x value over this so we can get eventually this value m b minus a so that is why m is here and b minus a or delta x can be written as delta x k where k vary from 1 to n and this is less than or equal to because m have this relation with mk so we can use this mk delta x k where k vary from 1 to n why this is less than this because m is less than mk now we know that mk is less than capital m so this is less than or equal to summation capital m k delta x k and also k vary from 1 to n and m k is is greater than m k is less than m so we have summation m delta x k and k vary from 1 to n and delta x k summation we can write it as this is equal to capital m b minus a or this is also equal to capital m delta x so this is the relation of of m delta x with capital m delta x that m small m delta x is less than or equal to capital m delta x so for any partition we know that small s so for every for every partition and every function we know that small s is less than or equal to capital s so i have to write it small so here it is and and we know that this is greater than or equal to by this small m delta x and and this is less than or equal to capital m delta x so we have proved the main part of this of this lemma by this is what we have we have talked about in the previous video and this relation is what we have proved here and what is what is this relation this is just as the definition of what is the lower sum and what is the upper sum as this thing mk delta xk is the lower sum and this thing capital m so that is why the link of m delta x with small s f p 1 that is less than capital s f p 1 and that is less than m delta x so 
with this I'm get delta x here with this and this is less than this thing so we have proved this we have proved the main part of this lemma so the proving of other part of the relation between the small s with the capital s of different partitions we will do in the next video so this is for now looking for most of the videos then you can subscribe this channel to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye